Hi everyone, my name is uh, Nico um, and welcome. Um, as you all know, Epic have made a significant change in um, the recent few weeks and that change has impacted everyone across the board because it changes how you access your assets and your materials, um, your textures and so forth. Previously, what was baked into Unreal Engine was Quixel Bridge. Now, um, that's still there, you can still access it, but they're gonna decommission that very, very soon, so it's not gonna be available um, uh, in pro pro possibly the next couple of releases. Until uh, that happens, I really recommend everybody move over to um, the FAB. So now, why has Epic done this? Okay, for, well, for a lot of reasons. Number one is to unify all the assets uh, because they were across a lot of different platforms. And two also is to enhance the quality and the user interface for all the developers um, across boards. So that doesn't just include architecture visualization people or visualization um, people per se, but also a lot of game developers. So it's bringing a lot of assets from uh, like Sketchfab and, um, and, other, and other locations into one location where everybody can access their assets. Now, here's the good news. Uh, the uh, use case or um, the workflow using Pixel Bridge uh, that, that was really, really easy, straightforward. Well, that hasn't changed much with Fab. And I'm gonna show you how. So here on the screen, this is how Fab looks like at the minute. Now, when you open up Unreal Engine, which I'll do right now. So, okay, so now as Epic Games launches, what we're gonna find here is on the top part of the menu, you've got news, but you also got now a new a new um, uh, tab here called Fab. That used to be Mega Scans, if you recall. And then a library, Twin Motion, and Reality Capture, all great products. Now, what we're gonna do is just gonna hit Fab. As soon as you hit Fab, you're gonna have this question, hey, do you wanna explore Fab? Now, if you do want to hit this button, well, all that's gonna do is gonna take you back to this screen, which is their website, right? Uh, we don't wanna do that just yet. We wanna show how you work with Fab inside Unreal Engine the same way you worked with Quixel Bridge. So the worst way to do that is to avoid that for the moment. Go to library. Uh, now, here's a one, all my versions. Here's a bunch of projects that I've been working on. And down the bottom, you're gonna see Fab Library. So go here, you can click this button. What that does is it refreshes the Fab items, which is all these things. So what you can do is move over to the right-hand side and type in Fab. Oh. Now, as soon as you do that, you're gonna get the Fab UAE, UAE plugin, right? Now, what you can do is you can click it. Now, I've already installed it, so you, uh, you can't see any of the engines to install, but once you do, you're gonna get a drop-down menu, um, and uh, you can basically install it across 5.3, 5.4, and 5.5 for now. So, as soon as you've done that, great, move on. Here's my uh, Unreal Engine project. Now, I've brought in some assets before just to play around prior to this video. Uh, but in essence, this is, everyone's familiar with this um, uh, viewport. And now, a couple of subtle changes. If you go to Windows, you're gonna find Fab here. Also, if you right button click, you're gonna find Fab here. Very, very, um, very same, same places we used to find Quixel Bridge, um, or Quixel content, right? So now, what you're gonna do is also, you're gonna find that um, once you introduce fab assets, there's a new library structure. It's, it's so all the assets, materials, etc., are now under fab. It used to be called mega scans, right? So you used to get a mega scans library up here at the parent. So right under contents, you get mega scans, but now it's fab. And then under fab, you have mega scans, and you're probably going to have a whole lot of different assets if you go uh, deviate outside of the mega scan asset library set. So now what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate how to in, in, how to get an asset inside a specific project. So so we're gonna look at this cube here. We are going to give it a material. Now the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna right button click, go to fab, and as soon as we go there, you're gonna get this window pop up, and here it is now. All right, now first things uh, first, let's have a look at what's actually on this window. So from left to right, this uh, burger icon here shows all the different uh, options that you have. You've got discover and under discover, you've got, well, discovering whatever you want to look for. So 2D assets, 3D assets and so forth. Then you've got my library. My library, all the assets that belong to me. Now, not everything is in here, right? But a lot of them are, okay? Because I was importing them in and importing them and so forth. 
Now, um, when you go to uh, FAB and you go to any of your um, Quixel Bridge assets, you're just gonna just hit um, add to my library and they should all appear here ready to go. So um, for example, uh, let's have a look. Okay. If I click here on this one here, I can see all the assets that are associated with um, this particular asset. Now I can do add to project or add to my library. Now, because it's already there, I don't need to add it to my library. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to access uh, Quixel. So now if I go over here, go back to discovery. So this is your launching pad. If you type in Quixel, now what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a whole bunch of assets that appear under the banner of Quixel. So if you go and hit creators, you're gonna see Quixel as one of the creators. So you can go ahead and click Quixel, and now you're gonna see all the Quixel assets. Now, uh, what's important is for you to claim all these assets for free that were free under mega scans as well before the end of 2024. Otherwise, in 2025, you'll be charged an amount per asset. So if you go ahead and say, click any of these assets, there's a little icon here that says, get all Quixel mega scans for free click that and you should be able to claim all your um, mega scan assets for free now i've already done this so i don't need to do that right and it should look like something like this mega scans have been um, uh, claimed and you're good to go so now back on my library so let me just uh, close that down so now if you if you decrease the window size, now this is a window inside Unreal. Okay, so it's very similar to how Quixel Bridge was working, where you had a, a modal window appear or a window appear on the screen. Um, so instead of being Quixel Bridge, it's a fab. So now you can go ahead and add this to the project. Now this is going to take some time, so I'm not going to add this massive scene. But once you're there, you can go back and click the Quixel icon, and you see all the Quixel Bridge. Um, I, um, assets that you found previously. Now, some of the assets um, have been broken up into individual parts. So they're no longer in this um, massive library. So you're gonna have to just basically go individually and select each and every one of them individually. Now, for example, if I type in Nordic, right? Now, these assets all used to come, in, come into one folder in um, Megascans. Now they are individual. So you have to grab each and every one of these individuals and drop it into your screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically go ahead and say, I like this rock. See there's a little hand that appears right above the rock. Grab it, move it, and notice how the fab icon appears there. And here it is, right? It's a tiny rock. But there's your rock, right? So now, <laughs> now uh, another one here is, for example, this one here, we'll grab this one. So I think this might be a very large asset. Oh, no, it's not that big. Okay. So now I can move that around and so forth. So now all these assets are now appearing here in the content browser. So under fab, if you double click fab, mega scans, 3D, and they're all appearing here. So they're all located right there. So now what about materials? What if I want to dress this blue um, uh, cube using some sort of fabric? So I can do that. So simply dragging and dropping, I should be able to, um, it's downloading it and here we go. Now we've got stone on this. Um, I should be able to, let me see if I can find something else. Let's get some rusty painted metal sheet surface there. Okay, so it's very similar to Quixel Bridge, no different no different and no different okay so now you've got various assets that you've placed on site inside the um uh, inside your viewport in your unreal engine so now going back to quixel bridge let's just navigate a little bit more uh the actual user interface so if i close that so unfortunately there is no quixel bridge discovery set here but if you do do the following if you um, go ahead and click uh models you can then simply 
cancel that search and then it gives you this option of search results by product or by creators you can go ahead and hit creators now you should be able to find Quixel Bridge here but another way and probably the best way to do it is just simply typing in Quixel and as soon as you type in that you're going to see the icon the Quixel Bridge icon so if you click the Quixel Bridge icon you're going to land right here okay so from here you can introduce you, you can get all your assets um, and don't forget to claim them uh, before 2024 and um, and then just drag and drop them into your scene it's as simple as that really so if you just want to grab any particular asset it's as simple as drag and drop them. very similar to what we were doing with um, Quixel Bridge earlier let me just see what's happened here there we go okay so you can um, you can <coughs> you can um, do it all that way now what else can i show you here okay on the right hand side uh, you have the various formats so if you don't want to see anything but unreal engine formats you can just remove these and basically all you're going to see is the unreal engine um, formatted uh, library options here for you um, now what i've what I do recommend is just keep them open. If they're all under Quixel, they should be fine. You should be able to grab, drag and drop them. You've got the um, download size. It tells you the size of them. You've got the pricing. You can do for free. So click on for free. So this applies across the board or across the entire platform, not just to Quixel. So you can do you can do things like on sale. So what's on sale? Now, obviously, now because I'm under Quixel Bridge, there's nothing for sale on sale yet. Uh, because all those items were for free and still are until 2024. So let me remove that. Um, license type uh, gives you some information about the licenses. Uh, rating, so you can nominate what assets, top rated assets you want to look for, or if you don't care about that, that's fine. Uh, publish date, so things that have been published in the last six months, one week, so things that are current, you can um, filter on that. Um, allow for use with uh, generated AI. Now, this is very important. Um, I think some of the products here that are generated by AI are really not that good. So you can just say, okay, look, hide all the ones that are AI generated, just show me the ones that are um, generated by humans, right? Now, as AI progresses, I think this is going to be quite relevant um, where you would actually want to reverse this and say, show me all the AI ones because they'll be that good. Until then, um, we basically have this uh, toggle switch. Okay. So, um, and obviously show me your content. Uh, now, this is the filters for this. So this gives you a lot of uh, power to uh, control your filters and what you see here. But again, it's a bit clunky. The fact that you can't get to Quixel Bridge from a menu item, you actually need to type in Quixel. Show you. My microphone is in my face at the moment, so I can't see the keyboard, but yep, I've done it right. So you just basically um, find any asset with the Quixel Bridge logo and you should be able to go straight to Quixel Bridge and see what they have on offer. Now, uh, again, um, it's, uh, it's a replacement of uh, Quixel Bridge, but it works pretty much the same way. In, if anything, the search mechanism and the capability to explore and look for things is much, much quicker, much faster, but it also gives you access to a lot of the other um, items that otherwise um, uh, you will still be able to uh, gain access to from the market store on Epic. However, it all gives it to you in one location, one place, and um, and you can find, I'm pretty sure you'll find what you're looking for. Okay, that's all from me for now, but um, uh, let's see what happens with um, uh, some of the integration aspects between Fab and Unreal Engine, how that improves and moves forward. I'm pretty certain there are a few glitches and things that need to be ironed out, but um, but I'm quite excited about the new changes. Uh, they all look very, very positive, and um, and yes, yeah, so I look forward to seeing what the new version of Unreal Engine will provide us as far as integrating assets with Quixel Bridge, but also Fab in general. So that's going to be quite an exciting event. All right, guys, um, thank you all, and uh, bye for now.